How doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. Um, just want to say good evening to you uh, Silver Stackers out there. I want to share these uh, new acquisitions with you. And also, I'm very excited because I sent some uh, some coins and some rounds off to uh, to Pit Bullion, and he sent them back. I got them a couple days ago, but I was working, and I wanted to uh, open the uh, package um, here with you guys on this channel so we can do an unboxing. But unfortunately, I had some technical difficulties. I kicked the um, kicked my tripod over and. Uh, it was uh it was a fiasco. Almost uploaded that video just so you guys could get a laugh, but uh decided not to. But anyway, we'll get right to it. I'm sure many of you have seen his uh video already. He posted his uh I think it was yesterday evening, um, where he um talked about some of the uh work he's done for the community. Well I happen to be one of those guys in the community that he uh did the work for, so without any further ado, let's just get right to it. Um this right here is probably my favorite coin. I like these turtles so much. Um, and look at that. I mean, if you guys are familiar, let me just show you. Let me show you the original before we even get into that. This is the original. This is the original. This is how um, they come minted. Beautiful coin. Uh, somebody said that's an orange pill. Um, texture that they put on this coin with the bubbles very beautiful um, of course we know the queens on the back of all these uh, coins if I can get this to focus I mean really nice uh, it looks like it has some issues but I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of that is just the shininess of this but anyway that's that's that beautiful very nice coin and then you get this and look how that effect that he put on this coin cuts that turtle out like a laser. I mean, it makes it looks it makes it look three dimensional. The work he does on these coins just it it makes it makes it a whole new coin, absolute whole new coin. Look at that! That is absolute beautiful work, Pit Bullion. You are a genius, my friend. And look at look at the queen's face on this. If I can get this thing to focus. Look at the detail in her face. That is awesome, man. You're a genius, buddy. That's nice. That's nice. And here's another one of my favorite coins. You guys know I really like these prospectors. But he has done something to this prospector that absolutely makes this a whole new coin. And I wish I had a better camera so I could show you, but I'll try to do the best I can here and try to. I want you to pay particular attention to uh, those uh, mountains in the background. Look at look at the <laughs> look at those mountains in the background. That is awesome work, my friend. I mean, you have got to put a lot of time and effort in into um, into making these things, man. Because the attention to detail that you give these things is, I mean, it's off the chart. And I'm telling you, if anybody out here who's watching this, I mean, do yourself a favor, man. Go through your stack. Find you some coins in there that you would love this effect done to them and send them off, man. Look at look at that. That is just awesome work there, my friend. Awesome work. Very pleased. Very pleased. And you guys have seen these. I've seen a few people uh, have him do this. Um, it's Queen's Beast. Queen's Beast is a beautiful coin just by itself. And then when he adds what he adds to it, it just puts a whole new dimension on that. I mean, if you take a look, I mean, the queen looks like, almost like she has an expression on her face that you couldn't see before. That's awesome work, buddy. That is awesome work. That's awesome work, man. Um, And I'm going to let you know now, and I hope you don't mind. But uh, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to find some more coins and rounds and I'm going to send them off to you, man. I need some more of this done. That is just beautiful, man. That I seen what made me contact uh, Mr. Pitt Bullion in the first place was um, Mr. Zeke had this exact coin that he had this done to. 
Um, and I mean, I've seen that. I just had to have it. Come on, camera. Focus. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to have to invest into a, in a better camera if I'm going to be making these videos for you guys. Yeah, I'm going to invest in a better camera. But anyway, you can see that. That's awesome. And I just want to say this real quick. The man worked on these for us, the guys that he just did these for. He worked on that with uh, food poisoning. Yeah. Got a text from him. He said he had got food poisoning. And... Um, he worked on them anyway. So, you know, kudos to you, my friend. That's awesome. That is awesome. And you're definitely going to get some more coins from me. And um, and I hope that, um, you know, people viewing this will send you some coins as well, man. Because, I mean, you do yourself a favor. If you, if you haven't uh, considered sending some coins to him to have them done, I mean, you really should. It would just enhance your uh, stack. Absolutely would. So anyway, I want to share this with you. I was uh, at work the other day, Sunday, and uh, happened to go on uh, on the site Let Go. Uh, it's like Craigslist. It uh, does a lot of local stuff. I'm sure everybody's heard of it. Me, I was on there, and uh, this lady had posted eight coins, or eight uh, ounces of silver, four coins and four bars, um, four rounds and four bars. And uh, at the bottom, she said she wanted eighteen fifty an ounce. Eighteen fifty an ounce. That's what that's what was written at the bottom. And actually, I'll show you the the site because uh, I know you guys won't believe me without this because this is unbelievable. Now I'm I um, I'm covering up this icon down here because I'm not sure all the rules about you know showing this right here. So I got that covered up on purpose. That's her little icon. But there it is. Silver coins, 1850. That's what she wanted per ounce. 1850. And these are exactly what she had on her site. Now, pardon a little crack up there. I dropped my uh, tablet and I, and I broke it. I mean, to get, I've been meaning to get a new one. But anyway, beyond that. But anyway, it's sold because I bought it. But this is what she had. This is what the photographs of on the site was. This is exactly what she had photographed. So, um, Anyway, by the time I got the, um, by the time I seen that, it had already been posted for two hours. It was a Sunday, so I figured I'd take my chances and go ahead and uh, and um, get in touch with her and see what she wanted to do. So I got in touch with her, asked her how much she wanted for all eight uh, ounces, and she told me a hundred and forty-eight bucks. Yeah, that's exactly right. A hundred and forty, eighteen fifty an ounce. For silver bars. Now, I told her, look, where and when? I'm on my way. So she sent her husband. I met him at a bank that was close to both of us. You know, withdrew, uh, went to the ATM, got 150 bucks out of there, gave him 150 bucks. Uh, he handed me the silver and we were on our way. Now, I looked at it real good before I took it, of course. Um, and it all looked good. Anyway, got home, started looking it up, you know, seeing what I had. And, uh, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, um, tell you, I'll let you find out for yourself. But if you have an inkling to, if you want some real good entertainment, look at, go to eBay and look what they're asking for that bar right there. Sorry, I'm bouncing around a little bit, but, uh, here it is. I'll leave it up there for a minute. But yeah, if you just want some entertainment, I mean, you don't have to, but if you want some entertainment, and I'm, I'm sure many of you uh, silver aficionados out there already know, this is what they call a uh, vintage art bar. Go on there and find out how much they're asking for this one ounce of silver right here on eBay. It's going to blow your mind. Very, very pleased. Now, you guys know I'm not into um, stacking silver. Because I'm not into the numismatic uh, aspect of um, stacking, really not. I stack for the ounces, but I tell you what, I'm very pleased with this. Even this one, yeah. Just, just, just for your own entertainment, go on eBay and see what they're asking. Now I know asking and getting are two different prices. I absolutely know that, 
but it shocked me when I looked these up, what they're asking for these, all of these. All of these are vintage uh, art bars. Very nice. They're old and they're rare. They're old and they're rare. And they're all .999 fine silver, one troy ounce. If I can keep my hands steady. And they're all like that. But this right here is the cream of the crop. I saved it for last as far as the bars go. This right here is the cream of the crop. If you go on eBay and you look this up right here, Ryman Auditorium, Nashville, Tennessee, one ounce, 0.999 fine silver, Music City Limit, I mean Music City Mint, Nashville, Tennessee, 0.99 fine silver, this exact bar right here, they have one of these on eBay that somebody's selling, and it is going to blow your mind what they're asking for this one ounce of silver. Now, I know, like I said, asking and getting are two different things, but it just peeled my wig back when I saw what they wanted for that one bar, one little one ounce bar of silver. Anyway, I'll let you do that, but that's something you can do if you want some entertainment. But this was part of it, too. This is part of the little bass that I bought from her. I paid 150 bucks for. Nice little generic round. Um... Little Christmas round. Uh, this one as well. A little happy Easter round. Now, the guy talked to me. He said they're clearing out um, some area in their house. Uh, he was driving a real nice car, dressed pretty nice. Um, obviously, you don't have means. But anyway, that wasn't as important as getting the silver. And he said that, um, you know, they're going to they're gonna be opening some more boxes of some some old boxes that they have. And if they come across some more silver, they'll give me a call. I said, yes, buddy, please give me a call. But anyway, here's another one. I'm going to try to keep this short, but I want to show you this. This right here is a Canadian maple leaf leaf. Now this was what was in the batch of silver that she, that I bought from her as well. Uh, just the fact that I got this maple leaf for uh, 1850 is amazing in itself. But look at this. Check out the date on this baby. Now, you guys that collect maple leaves will recognize right off the bat, that's a key date. That's a key date. 2001 is a key date. And I got that. Now, it's not in, you know, 70s condition. You know, it's not in 70 range condition. Um, no way near it. Uh, but it doesn't have any, any, any milk spots, no fingerprints on it. It's in great condition. And that's a key date. Now, I only say that to, uh, and there's one more, because, you know, it was eight ounces. And this is just, this is exactly how it came in this airtight with the little ring around it. Um, this one troy ounce buffalo. Real nice condition. I mean, no, no blemishes, no spots on it. Nice. And I got the whole batch for 150 bucks. Now, that's that. Then I went to my local coin dealer, and this is what I got from him. I got another Indian. He had these. Um, I think he was selling these for like 19 bucks an ounce. All of them was like, now it was 20 bucks an ounce. 20 bucks an ounce I got these for um, at the time. So I didn't buy too many. Uh, but I bought them because I saw this in there. thought it was pretty unique looking. This is a, come on to focus for me. This is a Joe Camel, one ounce, 0.99, fine silver, little, um, I don't know, little token, I guess they would call this. Um, and it was pretty nice. He sold it to me for 20 bucks. I like the toning on there. I'm not a smoker. I never have. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool, so I got that. Uh, and this was one of the ones he had in the bin as well. He sold it to me in the airtight, uh, 20 bucks. Another one of them little holiday things. It must have been the theme of people selling their holiday silver for some reason. And that was part of that. And last but not least for that, 
is this. I already have one of these. Um, but, you know, it was a colorized one. He had it in the, uh, the $20 bin, so I grabbed that. You know, it's colorized. It's like the other one I got. Matter of fact, here's the other one right here. It's a little different. The back of this one is not colorized. So this one's a little different. Still nice. Got some nice toning around the edges that I like. Um, but I got that one, and now I got a new one. This one's colorized on the back as well. Um, so they make a nice little pair. And I got these. It's from the same guy that was selling them before. He, um, the guy that was selling them because he needed some tires. Well, he uh, needed some more money. So he sold me five of these for uh, 19 bucks an ounce. You know, guys, I like these. Um, I like the prospectors. Anyway, they're all in pretty good condition. And, uh, you know, I got five of them. So I'm trying to make this video as short as I can. And I, I got another one of these. And, I, you know, you guys don't really, I mean, I don't get as many views on these. I mean, so I guess people obviously don't like them as much as I do. But I really do like these um, these um, banknotes. This is another one. This is uh, 8 ounces, 0.999, fine silver, uh, 24 karat gold plated. As you can see there, came with a C of A from the Washington Mint. Uh, so I just add this to the collection. Um, you know, depending on what views I get out there, I might just stop even uh, showing these. Uh, just collect them and put them away. But, um, I mean, I like them because I like the artwork in them. I mean, that's really nice artwork, man. Somebody... Uh, Somebody, some engraver sat down and he engraved this, and I'm sure they stamped these out. Uh, you know, there's not some guy engraving each one by hand, but some guy did actually sit down and engrave that. And then uh, they made a, uh, a die, and then they pressed these things out. But I like them, man. I really do. Um, and it's silver. I mean, what, what, you know, what are you going to do? It's, it's, it's silver. Um you know, it's an investment. Anyway, um, that's really about all I got for today. Just run this over there. Oh, yeah, and I forgot these. I got uh, 15 more of these. You guys know I'm trying to build up my uh, my um, junk silver stack. So, um, went too far. Um, so, I've got 15 more of them. And this is... Uh, this is all the silver that I got. Um, get the glare over here. All the stuff that I got since the last video that I made. And um, let's take that in. And then the stuff from Pit Bullion is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, the guy is a genius. There ain't no question about that. He absolutely is a genius. And there you have it. Anyway, uh, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate you guys commenting. I appreciate the subscriptions. I'll try to keep this as um, lively and as interesting as I can. Um, with Mr. Pitt Bullion's help, uh, he's got. I got another thing coming from him that I won't really talk about right now. Um, and when that gets here, you guys will be the first to see it. Besides myself, of course. And I think you'll be... Uh, You'll like that one. You'll be entertained with that one. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Pit Bullion. I I, uh, I suggest you guys check him out. Go to his site, check him out, and uh, you know, find you some uh, coins and some rounds around there and get them off to him. You know, um, and uh, have him uh, have him uh, put a new dimension on your coins and your rounds on your silver. Anyway, thanks for watching, um, and uh, keep stacking. Peace.